Good morning, River of Life. It's Jolene back again. I just want to show you my cat mug that I have. I'm not a cat mom. I don't, I'm sorry if you're a big cat lover, but I'm more of a dog mom. But I have a very hilarious teenager who thought, thought it was funny to give me a cat mom mug for, for Christmas. But I hope this finds you well today. Speaking of teenagers, um, we're in an interesting time of life where we have one half at college and one in his high school years. And so we are finding recently that we have a house full of young adults. Um, a little bit different than in the past where these kids are making their own choices in life. Um, you know, they're on their way. And we are finding that we have decisions and choices to make. And it's been interesting. I feel like um, God is teaching us things that we never would have learned um well at least in this way we're we're learning things and it's prevent preventing some um real heart searching for me anyway um this weekend we had a house full of kids there was games being played downstairs and i heard um lots of colorful language and it wasn't my kids it was some of the young adults and they were there was just a lot of colorful language down there and i tested my boys on the side like okay come on like if you're screaming that that's not what I want in our house, you know the rules. Um, and I understand when we have kids come that there'll be some slip ups or whatever. And I started to think, okay, should I have a talk about expectations when people are in our house? And um, I kind of went through this whole thought process and then I decided um, I'm gonna bring this to God because it's, for some reason nothing was settling well with my soul uh, in this way. And I thought it was super interesting because God is giving new strategies for how to reach people in our lives. New strategies that maybe he did not, like a new plan. Um, and I think this is for all of us guys that this is a different time in life. Um, we've never been in some of these situations before. So I think God is actually giving us some new strategies to reach people, obviously in obvious ways, but also I think it's good for us to go back to our heart and ask some, some tough questions. And this is what God ended up giving me, and maybe this will resonate with you, but I was, um, my mind was opened up to, um, not, and I'm not just talking about colorful language, this is, this is bigger than that for, for me in my walk, um, but I realized uh, God was asking me to make sure that I was putting away a religious spirit, that I was um, not letting the do's and don'ts get in, way, in God's way. All of the do's and don'ts that I think and all the knowledge that I've learned um, over my lifetime, um, the things that have been said to me, the things that I have been convicted, convicted about, um, but to set them aside. Because really, truly, what's most important in God's kingdom is not the do's and don'ts. It's full-on revelation of who God is. And that doesn't necessarily come by knowledge um, that in fact it doesn't it comes by the Holy Spirit by a full-on revelation of who God is and what he's done and then God will do the rest we um, I know I don't know about you guys but for me sometimes I just want to like barf out all of this knowledge of what God says when God is like oh my word stop just let me have it show them love show them acceptance right where they're at um, and then watch me do what I do best in fact I love Zechariah where it says, uh, it is not by force or strength, not by my force or strength, but by the spirit of the Lord of heaven's armies that God will go into action. And instead of white knuckling my witness, can I just relax and go, God's got this. He is um, the one. Everybody needs a full on revelation of who God is in order to really come to him. And I can't do that. That is Holy Spirit work. So let's stop trying to be the Holy Spirit. We're going to get in God's way. Um, and so I think the bigger question too is why do we want to know when to speak up and when to sit back and when to just love people right where they're at. I mean, that's what we're called to do. It is not so that there's modification, you know, behavior modification. I keep, I kept thinking about that. Do I really just want people to change? Um, but instead I feel it's so obvious. This is about expanding God's kingdom. And again, I'm so big on us Christians not being cookie cutters. That is not the language of God. He's creative. He has an imagination. Every single person that comes to the Lord is going to look different, walk different, speak different, have different 
um, histories and things that God is doing and is going to take them to certain you know, corners of this world that you or I will never reach. So let's not worry about the do's and don'ts. Let's just pray people in. That's the only way we can do this. A full on um, lifting up of our church's voices, of the followers of Christ, capital C Church there, asking God, God, just reveal yourself. May they hunger and thirst for righteousness. May I hunger and thirst for righteousness. Reveal who you are everywhere I go, God. Let me get out of the way. May it be by your power. May it be by your spirit that I am a witness. All right, I'm going to pray that for us, God, or guys, because God is at work. Um, don't be discouraged. He's at work. Let's just get out of his way and get on our knees. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for... Uh, the brotherhood and sisterhood of Christ and the, what we have in each other, that we can come to each other and encourage each other. God, I pray that we do not grow weary in these times, but instead we will raise the banner and know that we walk with your might, your spirit, your joy, your strength. Um, where we're weary, God, we ask you to fill us. Where we're weary, we ask you to give us strength supernaturally. Keep our eyes on you, Lord, and on you alone, not on the battle around us, not on the, the waves that are crashing around us, God, but, but on you, because that is where everything comes from, God, in your precious name. Amen. All right, Minnesotans, fearless Minnesotans, stay warm today. It's a, it's a rough one out there. Have a good one.